everybody, and welcome to The Poor Man's Chemist. In this video, we are going to be playing around with the famous chemical garden experiment, which you can see on the screen. Normally, this is done with various water-soluble salts of transition metals and solutions of sodium silicate. However, because I'm me and I do like to keep things weird and unusual on this channel, we are going to be demonstrating the growth of chemical gardens using both rare earths and uranyl chloride. So we are going to have a uranium chemical garden. Yes, this actually does work. Um, the actual mechanism by how this all works, I'm still not 100% clear on. I think what happens is that the metal salt will start to dissolve in the water, and that creates a little region where you have a solution of the metal salt. It will react with the sodium silicate and form a crust. Then basically all of the silicate inside this crust is depleted and you end up with a solution that's essentially just the pure metal salt that will rise up, react with more sodium silicate, and it forms a tube. From what I can tell, from what I understand, the force that's actually driving the liquid up is osmotic pressure caused by water penetrating into the silicate tube and causing it to rise up. It's causing it to dilute even more because inside the tube, the metal um, salt solution is very concentrated outside, not so much. So I think that's what's happening. Now, I was able to get one tube to grow downward um, using uranyl chloride. So they will grow down as well as up. Um, uranyl gardens take a very long time to grow because uranyl chloride solutions are so dense and heavy. Um, they tend, the spikes tend not to get very tall and they take a long time to grow. But if you get a piece of the, um, salt that's floating on the surface of the water, the tube will grow downward and it will do it like, as opposed to taking hours to grow upward, it will take like two or three minutes to grow downward, if that. Um, very interesting thing that I found. So, the, from here on out, I'm just going to be having time lapses of the various chemical gardens that I did. I will put little blurbs of text up there before each one starts to tell you what all salts were in there, what all was used, and um, basically, enjoy.
Huh. Well, I guess we've just shown that they can go from the top down. And boy, it does that a lot quicker. <laughs>